And just also, just um, picking off the back of the uh, Liverpool game, a lot was made of the uh, touchline row between you and Jurgen Klopp. I just wondered whether you regret what happened there, or were you, do you think you acted accordingly? I, I, to be to be honest, I, I think it was the I've seen the video, and I, and I was obviously there. Um, I think uh, in terms of the language I use, I do regret that because I think these things get replayed a lot on social media. I'm aware of the, you know, I've got two young daughters who are on social media. So I regret, I regret that. In terms of regretting having passion to defend uh, my team, uh, no, I could have maybe handled it slightly differently to, to keep that language in. But my, what I felt was, and I want to be clear about this actually, that some of the reports were that I was upset with the celebrating of the Liverpool team Far from it. I think Liverpool should celebrate as much as they want with the season they've had. They can celebrate like they did after the game, um, like they can celebrate every goal they score, like they celebrated when they won the league a month ago, and like they'll, they're talking about they'll celebrate one more time with their fans. I was absolutely. I would have had a beer with Jurgen Klopp after the game and toasted what performance they've done this year. Um, but there were things on the line I didn't like from their bench, not Jurgen Klopp, people behind the bench, which I felt crossed the line. And that's what got me agitated. But it's done. It's done. Emotions run high. And amongst most managers and players and fans in this game, as I say, I regret the language and move on. There's been quite a bit made of Frank Lampard's use of the word arrogant in his little touchline row on Wednesday. I'm just wondering, do you think that winners are automatically perceived as, as arrogant because of, of, of that success? Look, you cannot you cannot hit me with something like that and my bench not with something because we are not arrogant. So Frank was obviously in a really competitive mood. I respect that a lot, and um, I know you can pretty much, from my point of view, say in a situation like this what you want. For me, it's after the game. It's completely over. I said a lot in the past, and and because it's pure emotion, we are really involved. He came here to win the game or to get a point to make clear to make. Champions League, qualifi Champions League qualifi qualification um, happen finally. And so I, and I respect that a lot. But what he has to learn is to, to finish it with the last whistle, with the final whistle. And he didn't do that. Speaking afterwards about it like this and stuff like this, that's not okay. And that Frank has to learn. He has a lot of time to learn as a young coach, but that he has what he has to learn. Because we all said, what, during the game, the words he used, no problem at all, but final whistle. And as a real sports person, because all the things he said, but we, 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 you cannot, how I said, we are not arrogant. We are pretty much the opposite of, but in a moment like this, how it is in all arguments, if you say something, you want to hurt the other, the other person. That's how it is in arguments. Huh? So, um, but no problem with that. But final whistle, finish the book or close the book in this moment. And he didn't do that. And that was what I don't like, honestly. Was there, was there a moment in your career when you... By the way, the only reason why I speak now about it, otherwise, from my point, would be no, absolutely no word about it, but because he spoke afterwards, I think it makes sense to explain what I mean. I just sorry, sorry I to interrupt you, but um, was there a moment in your, early in your career when you, you, you had that moment where you realised you had to leave it at the final whistle and not say anything afterwards? I don't remember it, but probably yes. I, I, I really, I really don't know it anymore. But I, but how I said, um, I uh, respect all all the other coaches. And I, I, when you have a little look at yourself, and you know how outraged you can be in different situations, because we all have our subjective view, personal view on the situation: foul, no foul, handball, no handball, stuff like this. And it can you feel? Um, that's not fair or whatever and you, you, you cannot then wait until after the game and say oh my god it was not that nice today or whatever that happens that's, but probably I had it I, but I don't remember it um, but um, during the game for sure after the game I don't remember Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN Plus